Welcome! I'm the mad professor. <laughs> and I found a new way to play the cat oven deck with this card right here. The Konya, which can exile a card from a graveyard, then when it specializes, that card gets. When this creature enters the battlefield, each opponent loses to life and you gain to life perpetually. Which means that the Call of Familia now deals 3 damage when I've done this battlefield, and you gain 2. Uh, or, and we, or 3. <laughs> we gain 3, they lose 3. We just need to stack up a, a couple of ovens, which you can easily do, because you can find this combo right here with the Green Tutor. So you can search for the Call of Familiar, we can search for the Konya, or we can search for Witch's Oven. We can also play Faceless Agent, a card I think I've never played before. When it enters the battlefield, you seek a creature card with the most prevalent creature type, which means that if we have Call of Familiar and we play Faceless Agent, the most prevalent creature type is going to be Elf or Cleric, which means we're gonna get the Konya. But if you already have the Konya, we're gonna get the Call of Familiar. Genius! How do we get this thing in the graveyard? Well, either we eat it up with Witch's Oven, or we sacrifice it to Liliana of the Whale, or we kill it with our own Meat Hook Massacre to get it into the grave. Uh, then we just need, like, Sign in Blood to just draw some cards. And the Bastion of Bremen Bronze, because it has... doubles up on the Color Familiar ability, essentially. I don't think we really need it in deck, but it's there anyway! I don't know if this combo is fast enough for Historic, but we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. If we're up against like goblins, we're dead. By the way, I look like a <laughs> like a crazy professor or a surfer. <laughs> a little bit of overlap there between the two. Surfers, crazy professors, basically the same thing. That's what they are. Uh, why use a purple, my lady? Why use a purple? Start wearing purple, as Google Bordello says. Start becoming completely purple, as crazy Google Bordello says. That's what he says. Uh, and he's a little bit drunk, says that. Okay. Viconia down! Down on the ground. Don't kill Viconia, please. 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 Okay, that touch. Ooh, okay. So we have the call room familiar. That is absolutely great. So I think we just play this then. Badoosh, get rid of that triumphant dude. Baloink. That thing goes. Smack him with this thing and... Amazing, amazing. Now cast discard our cauldron familiar, exile our cauldron familiar, and bashnoon, bashnoon, bashnoon. And then we can pick up the uh, cauldron with this thing. That's amazing. Amazing, amazing. Okay. Foretelling. Okay. Gains on life. Good. So far, he's been not maybe having the best of hands. I like that. Each play discard a card. We're gonna discard a cauldron familiar. And then. Zen, 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 zen. Uh, then we're gonna exile. Or. Go, Gregor. Call him familiar. Following. Does this return every card though? Can we go for one more? No, we don't have enough mana for that. So we're gonna specialize. Specialize. Balloing. Chip a swamp. And. We got the new and improved Call him familiar! <laughs> Amazing! And. Uh, we are gonna play that. Are we gonna play that now, though? If he has a board wipe, probably we don't do that. So we just smack him with this. And then we Grim Tutor next turn, and then we start going loose with this Call of Familiar. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Call of Familiar. We invested a lot in this thing. Uh, do we now, in response? I think we do this. Because he might have something which returns from his graveyard. We'll remove the triumphant adventure. Badoosh, that's okay. Following. They go their separate ways. And uh, good, now we have the Grim Tutor plus Colin familiar. That's gonna be good, I think. That would be amazing. Amazing, amazing, okay. Following. Following, following. And then uh, we just oven. Uh, play Witch's Oven first, because we're not being as us. Not well, we are, but... We are, but we're playing in the, in the correct order, at least. Good, and then we also do each player discard a card. Nice! Don't nice, nice, nice! This thing is gonna make quick work of him, I think. Pretty quick work of him. Pretty, pretty quick. <coughs> I still stuck on three lands, though. Little bit of a stinkle of a double meter masker. Bastion, Grim Tutor. It's gonna take a long while. I think we mulligan. Uh, keep. 
We ship the Meteor Massacre or we ship the Grim Tutor? I don't know that we're gonna play double Grim Tutor, so we ship that. Play this. Open us that artifact removal. Here we go now. Double flush. Ooh, oh, they just line up here, okay. The Conia. <laughs> nice. Hope it doesn't kill that, please. Don't kill that. Don't kill that, please. <laughs> Don't kill that for a couple of turns. Couple of turns. Don't kill that. Maybe I should have saved it. Okay. Okay, discharge the damage to the target. Uh, okay, just my face. Fine. <laughs> Atrocation, you sure? Uh, take a little bit of damage. Pick up the color familiar. Let's make it big damage. Is it burn deck? Are we gonna get burn there? Ah, possibility. Definitely a possibility. Don't take, don't take, don't take, don't take. Don't take, 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 don't take. Double flash, okay. Gaining life. It's gonna do more static discharges. Starting as a three. This damage equal to its intensity, then perpetually increases all the stuff. Oh my god, it is an actual burn deck, okay. Okay, uh, my turn. So, in that case, we put down this. Bash noosh. We activate this on the column familiar. Exile our column familiar. Oh, we can exile these also. Exile column familiar. Uh, let's see here. Increase the intensity for all column names static discharge. That's that's fine. Uh, then we're gonna specialize. A badoosh. Ship the Meteor Massacre. And Bada Badunk. Smack him for three, and now we have the upgrade in the column. Well, is it good enough? I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. Maybe. Okay, static discharge. Oh my god. Do we have one more static discharge? Did I die? Can you start. Can you have any number of them? Can you have any number of static discharge <laughs> in your deck? I don't know. Can you? Uh, anyways. Put this guy down. Uh, sacrifice the call of a million. Abash Nush. And return the Call of a Million. Abash Nahush. And I think we play another Call of a Million. And I don't want to play the Sign of Blood yet, I don't think. Can exile a card from a graveyard. So it doesn't turn it. <laughs> oh wait, you should probably do that in response, you say. Yeah, 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 yeah. And also now we can't eat the food. So that, was, that wasn't super smart, man. Man, 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 man. Okay, double flush. Static discharge, though. I should make a static discharge deck after this. See that? Seemed to work out great for him. I'm gonna say. Uh, well, smack in. But, but, but. Okay, he just, just, just dead. Mm -hmm. Double oven. This could be good. We gotta keep. Gotta keep, 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 keep. Uh, yeah, which is oven? Sign and blood. Find the cat. Find the other card. Man, can you do it twice though? I didn't think about it before. If you have two of that thing which can exile... Nah, you conjure a duplicate. How does that work? If you duplicate a card, does the perpetual thing stay on the... Duplication? I don't know. I have no idea. Because it would be really cool if you could add that effect twice on it. That'd be really good. Alright. Progress hideout. Okay. Mm-hmm. When you do, search a life from basic forest, plains, or island. Put it on the amount tapped, then shuffle, and you gain one life. You need to read the entire card for that. Gain the one life, that's pretty good. It's pretty rad, I gotta say, it's pretty good. I'm gonna sign up another. Okay. A couple of Baconias. And the Grim Tutor, so we can find the cat, which is nice. Okay. Double manas. Sniper. Sniper diaper. Uh, we go for the cat now? Or do we just do Badouche? Find the cat this way? Oh, we do. <laughs> we actually do, okay. That's pretty good. Oh, wait, we should have played a cat though. Because we had the album, so. I don't know what they did. 
I don't know, okay? The traumatic traumatic compass. Nice to have that there. Anyways, we put down this. And badoink. And badoink. And badoink. Following. Following, following. Following. Following, following. Do it now. Uh, well, a couple. We'll, we'll stay with one thing and do that at the end of his turn. Just to be safe. Let's like with this. Baloink. Return it. Nice! Okay. And we end the turn, and hopefully we can go off for next turn. With the caller from there. I think so. Okay. So there's clan caller. Oh. Reach 2 3. Nothing more, though. He's a third land. I stuck on two. That's not good. That's a good one. Okay. Smacks in. Although it doesn't do anything. Okay. Good block. Badoosh. My turn. Oh, wait. We forgot to do this. Ah. It's fine. <laughs> it's not fine, but it's fine. Okay. Take this away. Then we exile it. Usually, you don't want your column permitted to get exiled, but. In this case, it's pretty good. Specialize. Badoosh. Uh, I think we can ship the Green Tutor. Ba 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 douche. Hello! I'm a pretty good cat now. I'm kind of upgraded. Okay. Um, ba 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 douche. And. It doesn't matter, unless he exiles this, it doesn't really matter if it's on the board or not, so let's put it back there. Down to 9, put this down. Uh, and we can exile a card from our grave, we don't want to do that, so uh, we smack in. Big damage. Down to 9. Cat has done his job. Nice, okay. I did get very much mana screw though, he has 2 lands still. We have 5. A little bit sad. A little bit sad, actually. A little bit sad. I'm sorry. Fish booble. It's probably an elf deck. We probably would have lost, honestly. If he just had lands and just played elves. So I think. Okay, Blizzard Brawl. Okay. Boink. And uh, yeah, there he has returned. Because even if it dies, we can sacrifice our own Viconia to get back with the Witch's Oven anyways. So, bubble bloop. And he's down to three. And he's maxed. Three damage. Okay. We're up to 30, so. Looking pretty good, I gotta say. Looking pretty good. Okay. Take the damage. Pass. Pop, pop. Down to seven. And now we have infinite damage. Oh man, I can play this also. Awesome. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. It's a lot of damage. A lot of damage. On the ground, a lot of damage. A lot of damage. A lot of damage. A lot of damage. Everything at hand. The money for do. Oh my god. It's amazing. Man. Oh my god, so many cats. So, so freaking good. So freaking good! Good! <laughs> okay, double silence. Scrying. Why does everybody have a huge library? I don't know. I don't know, man. So big library. Such a big library. Okay, smack it. Ba 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 douche. And done. I deal one more damage here. End of turn. One more, one more, one more damage. Okay, two manas. Don't have a way of exiling this, please. Please. Is there anything for two though? I mean, there are things which exile for two. But is there anything? On the other hand, the, he needs a target. Uh, okay, when as above, she has a creature card in your hand. It pressure against death touch. Okay. What well, is good to give death touch? First strikers, usually. Usually. Uh, well, call him familiar. Goes there and back again. And here, main, we have three freaking column familiars? Isn't that insane? 
Uh, going with these guys. Big damage. Down to 14. Just taking it, okay? Uh, yeah, I still think we do this, though. And we go for... Viconia. Viconia. Moons. And I'm done. I wanna wanna get that on you. Probably a first striker. Probably? Probably. Probably, probably, probably. Probably. Probably one good. I think. Because uh, as I don't know. What do you want to give that touch to? Or if there's a creature which deals damage, which can deal like one damage to something. Like ping creatures. This is a first strike, okay? So that thing is a little bit dangerous now. Can't go in with the cats. No, 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 no. Okay. We'll take the one damage. This doesn't have lifelink, right? No. No, it does have lifelink, okay. Lifelink, vigilance, death touch. That's everything. And what else else it does? Aura and equipment does one less to cost. That could be dangerous, maybe. Uh, so we can now play this. And another call of familiar. And yeah. We exile with this end of turn probably. Lilian actually doesn't do that much right now for us, I don't think. Rex 3. Danitha Kapashan. Man, if he has some way of getting this to be huge though. And he does. Oh. Oh, Danita Kapashen! It's gonna go smacking us here, I think. It would be great if this comes in, though. We, can, we can't block that around anymore. Uh, Badish. Okay, down 17. Scary stuff, scary stuff. Uh, we're gonna eat up a Colon Familiar. We're gonna exile our Colon Familiar. Uh, but nine. And now we're gonna... Ooh. Almost use this. <laughs> can almost use it, but we can't really use it. Okay. We specialize. Uh, Liliana doesn't really do that much. But Meatwork Massacre doesn't do anything either. And Lil we can actually play the Meatwork Massacre. Theoretically. Uh, so now we have the upgraded column familiar. That's cool. Uh, so he's taking a little bit of damage. A little bit, but I think uh, we're gonna get outpaced there by this Danita Kapashan Paragon. So I think. Unfortunately. Um, what else can we do with this? Not much. Well, uh, pass turn. That's the turn. How do you deal with Danita Kapashan? That's a question. Because he's probably just gonna have more equipment, I think. More equipment with the Danita. <laughs> Such a noob matchup. <laughs> I love it. The equipment deck versus the buff cat deck. Hmm. I think I mean I think he's gonna win, honestly. Because I don't know how to get rid of that. We can of course Meatok Massacre. We can do that. Okay. Uh okay, then he just has that rather. Right I mean I guess no, it doesn't it already has that touch, I don't know. I don't know what it does in his deck, but it's there, you know, it's there. Okay. My turn. Ooh, Locked Wayne. Um, we can actually just play this on three to clear up his board a little bit. And we don't care if our things die here. Because that just deals damage to him. Anyways, and then just Danita left, so that's good. And then we can return you, of course. Bada badoosh. And we can deal, what is it? Three more damage or so. Okay, we'll do that. <laughs> we'll do that now. Okay. And bananang, bananang. It's down to four. And uh, we just know what to it. We're up to 25, maybe? We can get him? Maybe if he doesn't have anything? We get him? But I really shouldn't have used that last time, eh? Because if you are now as a removal for both of them, you can't really do much, so. I'll see, though. 
Danitha, you, you think it's gonna come out on top? Danitha, Capuchin, Paragon, or Colin Familia? Who do you think? Who do you think? We'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, okay, Grim Dancer. Uh, Menace, Death Touch, and Life Link. Why, why did you have this though? It worked so great with the Danitha and just everything else already had Death Touch. So, I mean, maybe just likes Death Touch. Life Link Menace, okay. He's such a menace, this guy. Did we get no? Oh, okay. Now, now we got him, right? Now we got him, I think. Because this is damage. He's real freaking damage now. Insane damage. Okay. Turn this. And it's like right there. Yeah, I think I think we got him, right? I haven't done the calculations, but this is like a lot of damage. Like a lot of damage. Oh, he's down to one! He's down to one! That's so close! <laughs> that is insanely close! Can we have this guy die? Can he suicide? <laughs> that's possible? Can he specialize again? When this creature specializes, he conjure a duplicate. But he can still exile a card from a graveyard. But he can't. Ah, I just want that thing in our hand. Oh well. Can draw a card though. No? Yeah, that can give something. Grim Tutor, okay. Well, no attacks. Uh yeah. He's gonna life gain seven. We need to go for another oven here. To have a chance, I think. Most likely. What we have to do. Rex the third. Down to one! Oh, flying death touch haste! And the adventure also. Everything is death touch. Death touch for a strike. He just loves the combat. The combat ability. Okay, we're not 17. He's up to 8 only. Good! Uh, but that should be enough with Abel also, right? Or with the uh, Bastion. <laughs> Chris and Matt. <laughs> it's just not happening. Just not happening. Just not happening. Okay. There's a lot of damage. A lot of damage in these cats. Okay. Down to three. Yeah, now we got it. Now we got it. Because this deals two and this deals three. Ooh. Mm -hmm. This might be the first time I play Face. No, we actually played Faces Engine before, didn't we? We did. Amazing. Amazing, 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 amazing. I think it fits pretty well in deck. I'll probably explain this in the intro, but if we have the cat and then we play Faceless Alien, we're gonna find the other thing. If we have the other thing, we find the other thing. So we we'll always find the correct thing with the Faceless Alien. That's amazing. Acribic. Mulligans? Ooh. Okay. Little bit over. You can't just have six. In historic, it's a thing. You can't have 60 cards. I'm a scrub. I have 60 cards in my library. Everybody's like. <laughs> That's what they say. Okay. Down 19. And now. I lose something. Okay. Come on. Ooh. Well, now we have everything we need there, so we just shine this in blood. Baloink. Smack his face. And, uh, yeah. Do we play this? I mean, if he kills this. I think we play Bastion Ring of Bronze here, though. I mean. Bada -ba Remembrance! Smack him! And 17. And then... Another Remembrance. And then another Remembrance. And then another Remembrance. Oh my god. Okay, just basics. That's how we play if you're bolus. <laughs> if you're bolus in the tour, let's play basics. <laughs> just find everything you need. Okay. Remembrance. We just advance. That means next turn we can be Konya. It's pretty good. Do this end of his turn, of course, because we're pros, proskis, absolute proskis, absolute proskis. All the manas. Slivers have on this creature's battlefield this one damage target player or planeswalker, and you game one life. Ooh. Oh, oh, he's doing a little bit of what we're doing, kind of. Things enter the battlefield and they, they snoo and badoon. Deal damage, gain life. Okay, another sliver. Okay, creature's got plus one, plus one. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think he's gonna shoot Sliver. 
Sliver! <laughs> He's playing the expensive slivers, that's kind of... That's kind of fun, I think, okay? And then this guy comes in back. Again! Good, 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 good. Now then, can we play this? And we can do everything, right? Almost. Uh, so we do this. Sacrifice you. Following. Then, exile. Our color familiar. Noise. And then, specialize. With the color familiar. So now we have the good color familiar, but we also play another color familiar. Boop, 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 boop. And it's back in. And it's looking pretty good. So far, I gotta say, we haven't been up against anything really fast, but... but still, okay, we're up to 26. Everything's looking good, but he might have some weird freaking combo or something, I don't know. Sliver deck. He's just gonna slither away, maybe. See if it slithers away, okay. Oh. Slivers have plus two plus zero, and needs a little bit of damage here. It gains a little bit of life. A little bit of life. Cleaving sliver! Never seen this guy play. Ever. I've seen a double strike sliver. This one plus one plus zero, I think, also. That's kind of cheap, isn't it? Play. And leeching sliver! And obviously we can draw attacks, the venom loses one life. No! I don't want to lose my life today. I don't want to lose my life. Just block, guys. Because we just deal damage when it dies, anyways. A bit of snook. And. Yep, yep, it's pretty. It's pretty bad. It's pretty deep. Uh, eat up this. Ba 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 da. Ba 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 da ba 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 I do like double oven. But how do we find the cat? It might just fizzle out there, maybe. Or it's just gonna be easy fizzle lemon squeeze. It's not possible. It's one of the oh we just find the cat now. We find the cat and we have like the perfect time. Possibility. Game one life. Okay. Uh, I guess we got the baconia now, man. Um badoosh, bad door. Uh, what does it say? Yeah, <laughs> Never seen this thing before. This thing. Seen this thing, and this thing, and this thing, and this thing. <laughs> this is ice, I think. This is to pass through, I think. And uh, now let's not talk about that anymore. <laughs> uh, let's sign in blood. Instead. Sign this in blood, please. Okay. Smack in. Do the big damage. Big, big damage. I kind of like signing blood. Honestly. I often play signing blood over the three mana search card. Honestly, signing blood is just good. Two mana draw two cards. Lose the life. That's good. Worthwhile trade. In most cases. Uh, this guy ain't trampled, can it? Uh, no. Can just get big. Well, that's good. Uh, that's good. That's real, real good, man. Real, real good. Um, might as well play this, I think. Have them down there representing. Just block with this thing. Eat up for a little bit of food. Then we'll see what happens. Okay. Oh! That's not a fetch thing. Okay, so, 5-5 five, five, Cassandra Mammoth. Coming in, big damage. And answer back, you gain 3 life. You can gain one of any color. Any color he chooses! Okay. I come in with the mammoth. Thus. Uh, block it. And eat it up. Eat it up, yo, eat it up! And my turn. And a sign blood. Shine this in blood, please. Shine in blood. <laughs> Okay, we're not finding our business! Not finding our business! Doesn't matter what we play here, okay. Put this down. Um, three signing bloods. That's what we had. We just take some damage. I think that's what we're gonna do, okay. 
That thing is pretty huge. Unless he buffs it even more or something. It's a wolf. Just didn't find the cat. Didn't find the cat. Didn't find the cat, okay. Okay, that's okay. Uh, well, we can block this too for it now. Because he's gonna, yeah, do that. Uh, we'll just take that damage. No blocks. We'll take it. And hope find a cat, 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 cat. Okay, that is actually the cat, but we don't have enough manas. We could also play double Liliana. Get rid of two creatures. And then play the cat, maybe the turn after. Maybe that's good. Who knows? Who knows? Okay. Sagwell's creature. For Link. For Link, for Link. Because now maybe he attacks Liliana and that just gives another turn. That could be good. Off you go. Now it would be nice if the cats could block. It would be so freaking noise. So freaking noise. Well. You there, sir? Sacrifice. Sacrifice, sacrifice. Sacrifice, sacrifice, sacrifice. Oh, the mammoth goes, okay. That's good. Very good, okay. So, maybe we have a chance? Maybe? And maybe? And maybe? Okay, attacks in the... That is absolutely fine. Uh, Liliana can die, I don't, I don't mind, actually. I don't mind, I don't mind, I don't mind. No blocks, no blocks, no blocks. Douche! Okay. Whatever. Luckily, Whatever. After all. Werewolf pack leader. Okay. I'm a dude. Or dudes, no? I don't. Uh, okay. Well, we're gonna go down low. It's hopefully worth it. Hopefully, maybe worth it. Okay. Uh, where's our cat? There you are. Nice. Put this down. <laughs> Little bit low. Little bit low now. Little bit low. Okay, get a life point. Eat up this. Get another life point. We're slowly healing back up now. Slowly recovering. We might turn this one around. Maybe we'll turn this one around. The exile, our own cat. There it is. Can it only return one when it flips though? Uh. X oh, just one card for X. I wonder if you could like exile five things and then get all of them back, but no, you can't. Uh, so we're gonna specialize Bal Baloink and get our cat. Uh, oh no, we don't have any manners to play it though. Uh, that is bad. That is bad. Uh, but maybe we can survive with the Baconia. Maybe? <laughs> Maybe we can do that? Maybe we have six HP. Maybe we survive? And then we turn it around in the corner? Maybe? Maybe? You know, who knows? Maybe? <sighs> he got us. I was about to say it was close, but I, I think we got kind of crushed there, I'll say. We, uh, we fizzled around with all our signing bloods and didn't find our business. <laughs> Until way too late. But, still, a good game. A good game, must say. Good game. Oh! Ah, oh, no. No, no, no! Hello, Daniel! And you are? It's -a me, the YouTube algorithm. And... Um... Well, what are you doing here? I'm just here to take those views! No, the, those are my views! Oh, I can explain to you, senor. You see, you have subs 0% uh, and non-subs 100%. Uh, That's why you can take all your views. <laughs> I guess it's time that you uh, check out a little, little thing down there.